theatre production, The Island, is currently showing at the Papa Theatre here in Johannesburg. This production is an apartheid era drama inspired by a true story. After successful runs in both uh, Cape Town in 2017 and 2018, the production will be touring to schools around Johannesburg before it will be featured at the uh, Encounter Festival in the Czech Republic. The play focuses on two cellmates who spend their days and nights rehearsing in their cell for performance of Sophocles' Antigone paralleling Antigone's situation and the situation of a black political prisoners. Well, to tell us more about the production, we're joined in studio by producer and actor Lundu Masiza as well as actor Asiya Majola. Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, 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 morning. morning. Lundu, I'll start with you. The play chronicles these two characters who have been incarcerated. The production is based on a true story. Who are these characters? What are their names? Mm. Um, so in the play, within the play, the characters you have John and Winston, um, who are playing the two characters, and they throughout the play they're actually rehearsing um, to tell a story about Antigone, which also relates to their own personal life. Mm. Um, I don't know if you want to add more. Uh, yes, uh, it's pretty much a story about the human spirit. And uh, one of the producers, myself, um, I felt like uh, at the time I was doing my research, as I wanted to come back to the stage because I was doing film and TV work at the time. So I wanted to make sure I was like, hey man, what story can I bring um, doing my research? So that would be test me as an actor and maybe give some value. So then um, Blood Not by Ethel Figaro was one of them. And then Opa by Percy Tua was also on the list. And then um, The Island. And then um, logistically, The Island seemed uh, a better fit. That would be better as a producer as well. So um, when I read the piece, I was like, wow, I was blown away, you know. So I felt like the certain themes within the actual uh, piece can still resonate too to this day. Yeah. Well, take us through some of the characteristics <coughs> of your character. Mm. I mean, wh wh what, what does he think about? Uh, is he disgruntled that he's uh, behind bars? Uh, what is his passion? What are the conversations that he has uh, <laughs> with his cellmate? Uh, well, because uh, I'm playing John, uh, and uh, John, um, he's the ultimate optimist, you know, and uh, within, the, within the group, it feels like he's, he has to be very optimistic, yeah. and then he wants to be staging this play Antigone. So now he's trying to get uh, Winston to come on board, you know, so he's got to use tactics with him to try and get mm. him to come, you know, so that we can actually do this production. And it's also just about um, having the two characters take themselves through this process because within the prison, um, the conditions weren't exactly ideal, you know, so then the whole thing about breaking the character down, you know, so they needed to come together as a brotherhood, as a relationship to be able to go through those tough times. So now getting to, um, to Antigone doing this, it feels like it's yeah. become about brotherhood as well. You know? Oh, I love that. I mm. love that. Yeah. Uh, you guys have had a successful run in, in Cape Town and you obviously be touring here in Johannesburg. Yeah. Uh, what kind of reception have you received here in Johannesburg? And um, yeah. let's talk about... <coughs> the message that you're trying to impart with, with um, the young people yeah, uh, that will be showcasing this production too. Yeah, I mean, I guess from the get-go when we spoke with our director, he said he really wanted to look at the human spirit that truly rises with dignity because mm. mm. it's different from when it was done back in the 1973 um, when it was in a, a political strategy mm. and now we just wanted to focus between this relationship between mm. characters. And we think all of us as human beings will have our own island that mm. we're going through. Oh, it's and it's great when you have someone support Supporting you when you have that brotherhood, it could be a mother, it could be a father, that relationship, that bond to, yeah. to talk to someone about it. Mm -hmm. So those themes are really important about love more than anything and I can resonate with that. I think Sia yeah, kind of as well. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So you guys will be off to the Czech Republic. Yeah. Um, what do you know about audiences over there? Do, do, do they kind of understand um, our South African history, how colourful it was, how painful it was? Mm -hmm. uh, and what mm -hmm. do you expect from that tour? Um, it's going to be really exciting, actually, just to discover, because we know that, as we know, the island is a classic itself, mm. and it's been performed across the world, mm, mm. really. And um, I think people in Europe, they're aware of what South Africa went through. Mm. Uh, but now in 2018, and telling this story, and how it still resonates with some of the people, mm. even in Israel, when we had a lady yeah. from Israel. We came to watch the performance also in Cape Town and she said, yeah, she can relate to the story. Mm. So it's going to be very interesting in that sense. Mm. Mm. All right, just, uh, you know, without giving too much away, take <laughs> us through just the journey that these characters go through and, and particularly yours. Mm. And, and, and how closely uh, do, you, do you connect w with your character just on a personal level? Well, um, the director always jokes, um, 
John's character um, is close to me, and then uh, for Winston, uh, he's close. He's, he needs to go uh, the extra mile because we're looking to uh, do Cesar Banzi is dead next, so then we can have a role reversal. Because I'll be playing uh, Winston, and then uh, he'll be playing John. Mm -hmm. But just um, just to, with the piece itself, I felt like it was a, a journey, um, the whole process of preparation. So now going through the research and actually um, going back and reading through the script, because um, uh, as an actor, script is like the key, you know, it's like uh, it's playing like the a, Bible. you know, the Bible, <laughs> yeah. you know, like yeah. a musician, you know, that's like sheet music. So you don't want to divert too away from it. So now uh, going back and doing that research, you know, um, knowing where the characters are from, you know, uh, John's from PE, he speaks Tosa. So now you start unpacking all those things for your character. And then now as you're doing research about how apartheid was in the Eastern Cape, you know, I started to figure out there was the, um, the Craddock Four. You know, I didn't hear about that story. So now how does that paint the, the bigger picture of um, apartheid South Africa for myself as a performer so that I can eventually tell this story to its truest. You know, I felt like I needed to use research as a base mm. to be able to tell this, like, the character to its truest. And I feel as like, authentically yeah. as possible. Yes, yes, yes. Indeed. Before I let you go, where can we, uh, you know, get details about where you will be next mm. and uh, uh, yeah, yeah. which schools will you be going we, to? We have a Facebook page mm. um, called the Theatre, um, the Island the Theatre Theater Theater production, production yeah. and then Pop Art as well. Um, um, all the details are on there where we're performing next week. We've got a performance today at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. and one at half past three tomorrow. So yeah. you can still catch us in town. All and right. we've, we've also got, um, we're still sourcing for funding for our Czech Republic since it's a self-produced play. And now uh, we've got a backer buddy um, online that um, audiences or people that are willing to um, help us uh, go to Czech Republic, they can um, um, donate there pretty much. Fantastic. Cool. Thank you, Jim, and for Thank making much time having. to be on the so show much. this morning. <laughs> that was uh, Lundu Masiza and Siama Jola talking to us about their production. Action, the island that is currently taking place or showing at the Pop Art Centre here in Johannesburg. It's time for us to go on over to the morning live stage where Blomsett Avenue is ready to make us dance. Mm.